I have got the winning ticket. I am so excited. I'm here at Ben & Jerry's headquarters in Vermont to learn about their fair trade initiative. Currently, they have a couple of fair trade products in their ice creams, but by 2013, they'll be using fair trade for all of their ingredients. How exciting is that? Plus, they are a very much forward-thinking environmental company as well as a social justice company. I can't wait to learn more about it, have some fun, and hopefully meet Ben & Jerry. What a special treat for me today. I am with Ben and Jerry from the world famous Ben and Jerry's Ice Cream, of course. You guys have always been known for your fabulous flavors and innovative concepts, but also for your social responsibility when it comes to business and your communities. What are you working on right now in those terms? Well, we're really psyched about fair trade. Uh, the company recently made a commitment to go 100% fair traded by the end of 2013. Farmers in the developing world are going to get paid a decent price for their products. Um, people in the U.S. are going to pay the same price they've always been paying. Uh, you know, we'll make slightly less profit, but we'll still get by. I think what it does is it demonstrates that uh, a mainstream company and product can do fair trade and still be very successful and we're hoping it's going to convince a lot of other companies to do the same. We'll be very happy when it is not a point of difference for Ben & Jerry's when all companies are doing all fair trade. Just curious to so why fair trade, why, why did this pull on your heartstrings, if you will? Well, we just became aware that it was an option. Uh, that you can either buy your ingredients in a way that exploits uh, farmers, small farmers in the developing world, or you can buy your ingredients in a way that treats them as partners and treats them fairly. And we said, well, exploit fair. <laughs> exploit fair. Fair. We'll choose fair. Well, Ben and I have both been down to the Dominican Republic, uh, where the company sources its cocoa, and I've been to a fair trade uh, cooperative there. And you go and you meet the people. I mean, it's one thing to sit in an office and you're looking at your ingredients and you're seeing how much it's cost. It's another thing to actually be with the people who are producing it. And in the end, it's all about people. Do you look back and maybe attribute some of your success to doing good, since you've always been a leader in social responsibility and, and community involvement. Do you think that was part of your success as you've always kind of chose the fair route? I'm positive that, uh, be, that, that trying to improve the quality of life for people ends up coming back to you. Uh, you know, it's, it's a universal law. I mean, it's written in the Bible. As you give, you receive. As you help others, you're helped in return. As your business supports the community, the community supports your business. I mean, it's, it's just the way the world works. You, you know, you, you probably can't prove it, but, uh, you know, look how, look how good we've done. Well, I think you've <laughs> proved it, actually. And <laughs> thank you for inspiring me. You really have on many levels, including your slogan, if it's not fun, why do it? <laughs> I think that's a universal law too. So I know you'll be inspiring a lot of other companies. Keep up the great work. I can't say thank you enough. Well, so thank, thank you. you. <laughs>